This is Steve and I'm here with Allen County Commissioner Bill Brown. Uh, Bill, we thank you for your time. Hi Steve, how are you today? Oh, good. A little wet, but yeah. you know. A little soggy out there. Yep. Uh, this morning had the legislative session, uh, discussed the interlocal agreement for 911 consolidation. Uh, it was decided to defer any decision on that agreement for 60 days. Um, how did you feel about the meeting? Well, I think it went pretty well. Um, you know, I know there's a lot of people in Fort Wayne and Allen County that like to see the uh, 911 center uh, get uh, consolidated, and I think that's something that needs to happen. And in my opinion, it needs to happen uh, with the uh, sheriff uh, on board, and that's been my position all along. Uh, it's a uh, major, major element of what he does. Now, granted, it's it has to do with uh, all other uh, emergency providers too. But uh, I think today gave us an opportunity to talk about some ideas that maybe will uh, help get this thing uh, where it needs to be so that the uh, sheriff is comfortable with uh, uh, how it ends up. One of the ideas that you put forward was a consensus board, mm -hmm. um, which is something that's similar to what's in place with the planning department right now. Correct, um, yeah. Tell me, tell me a little bit about the consensus board. Sure. Uh, you know, I advocated for that with the consensus board with the Department of Planning Services. Once again, that was a merger of the BZ, the two city plans, the two, the city plan, the county plan, the city BZA, county BZA, and it has representation by the, from the mayor's office, the commissioner's office, uh, county council, city council. So that makeup may not, won't be the same makeup, obviously, for the uh, 911, but uh, it will be, have a very common thread, hopefully, and that common thread is, when you get an uneven amount of people on a board, excuse me, an even amount, you have eight, that brings people to the table with a, uh, a they, they know that they need to work together to create consensus in their decision making. It's something that I advocated. I don't know if a consensus board is really a, uh, it's something I guess uh, I kind of put that uh, name to it. I don't know for sure if that's uh, specifically what it's referred to, but if you look at the, uh, the various elected bodies. Now the local elected bodies, for example, city council, county council, typically you'll see uneven you'll see an uneven number on those boards. So they can move forward with their weekly or monthly business, get things done, that sort of thing. But when you're putting together two groups that are um, somewhat um, different, shall we say, culturally a little bit, I mean I don't want to overemphasize that, but I think we do uh, sometimes with the uh, annexation of the city of Fort Wayne into Allen County. I think over the years there's basically just been a feeling that as Fort Wayne grows, Allen County kind of diminishes. Well, that's really not the case. Uh, it's truly a matter of uh, pro progression with the city of Fort Wayne. But I think that's, that's what I refer to. Sometimes we talk about the culture, or the culture of the two workforces. You know, our workforces are a little different. Um, there's a pay discrepancy in our two workforces, city and county government. So I believe that when you come together on even footing with a, what I refer to as a consensus board, it puts it keeps them there from being a power, uh, oh, shall we say, a power struggle. Uh, it really turns because sometimes you can have that seventh person that will be picked or ninth person, and many times that person will tilt one way or the other. And it's just a method that I think has worked well for the Department of Planning Services and Kim Bowman, our director. I know she likes it, um, and I think it's a way to get people together on a very even footing and uh, you just start working around best practices at that po at that point. Mm -hmm. One of the things that was talked about, mentioned a couple of times yourself and Commissioner Bloom, uh, was the whole myth behind the wall. Yeah, the wall. Mm -hmm. And yeah. uh, you had some interesting, well you both had some interesting observations about it. Um, well, I think the wall, the, the scenario of the wall, and I do believe part of this is, you know, we all know that people like to make things, uh, oh, what's the word, a little more exciting, a little more interesting. And I think the metaphor of city and county uh, having this wall, it, and I think people want to act like we're at each other's throats all the time, and we're not. We're basically, we work together really a lot, and I, I think that that needs to be stated. Um, the wall piece, you know, it's, I think a lot of it, frankly, it comes from Mr. Gorbachev, please tear down that wall and talk about the Berlin Wall and how that uh, was, the, was the dividing feature of uh, Berlin and the, uh, the whole Cold War, you know, is, this, uh, is defined by the Iron Curtain, the wall, that kind of thing. And it's, it's nowhere near that. 
Now, the wall itself was put in place, frankly, because it is a city operation on one side and a county operation on the other side, and they have separate HVAC systems. So I look at it, frankly, as not a whole lot different than a, than a wall with, it's got glass uh, windows in it, and it's not a whole lot different than just a, a wall you'd have in an office space. There's a door on each end, so it's easy to, so, I, you know, the, the, wall, the wall could come down. Uh, I think the wall could come down next week if somebody wanted it to, but there's going to be a cost associated with that, and uh, uh, so maybe that'll be the best best way to do it at the end. Just get the wall down, and if it all comes together in a in a consolidated manner, then uh, but there'll be a remodeling cost associated with that. So whether the wall goes or stays is still, I think, kind of uh, un undecided. It doesn't matter to me, frankly. Mm -hmm. And and you and I have talked about this before about you know that perception in the public that. You can't that the city and the county can't work together, and yet mm -hmm. I know that that's not true, and you know that you see, you see it on a daily basis. Uh, the collaboration that's there mm -hmm. that has to be there, but when you start looking at some of the bigger issues, uh, especially where public safety is involved, mm -hmm. uh, I imagine there's a lot of intricate little parts, and you just can't go out and say, "Well, it's going to be this way, and that's it." Mm -hmm. You you have to do your homework and have to do your planning and and need to explore things. Well, I sure think so, and, and that's frankly one reason why I've deferred to the sheriff on this. The, uh, he's been involved with dispatch um, all his, for all of his career, and uh, now he is the elected sheriff in Allen County. Chief Deputy has a similar background and experience, and uh, he, is, he, knows this, he doesn't feel like this particular resolution we had today was the right one. Uh, and I believe they think the system from the county side at least, at least works pretty good the way it's set up. But um, there is an appetite, I, I know that's the, the case throughout the community, and it's hard for the residents to understand, the citizens, why uh, this thing isn't consolidated. So uh, I think what needs to take place, and the sheriff has made a pledge to get with Rusty York and uh, work with him, and hopefully within the next couple months uh, can come up with something that he's comfortable with and uh, move forward. And I, I do believe that a year ago, December, last December, uh, the chief or the sheriff did come up with a uh, proposal while he stated in the beginning that you know he thought things worked pretty good the way they were if in fact it did did change and he advocated something similar to a consensus board with the commissioners being the uh, operating uh, group that would be the tiebreaker uh, whether or not that's is the way it'll be set up in the end uh, uh, we'll find out but uh, I think we need to really listen to the listen to the sheriff find out what he needs and uh, to get comfortable with it and from there we'll, uh, we'll hopefully be able to move forward. One of the figures that was thrown around a little bit this morning, I, and I don't mean thrown, I don't mean it that no, way, I understand. but that was put out there was uh, the $14 million uh -huh. budget shortfall. Now, yeah. I guess the question that I had, maybe I missed it, that that's in the 911 or in the communications budgets, is that correct? Correct, yeah, what it is, it's an equipment upgrade. Basically, there's been some reduction in the um, the 800 megahertz frequencies, I believe, and that the so there's going to be a new frequency that's going to have to be utilized, and that new frequency will uh, require an equipment upgrade, and it's projected to be by the time you get the main the mainframe piece to it, and then all the equipment in the in the various vehicles, uh, and at the desk uh, dispatch centers, it's about a 14 million dollar expense, and that's an expense this expense is going to come you know sooner rather than later, and uh, we need to figure out how that's going to get paid for. And one of the ideas that's out there, you know, there's there's been a movement for a lot of people, myself included, uh, mm -hmm. gone away from a landline and gone to a cell phone for convenience. Uh, but I don't have I don't pay a 911 user fee mm -hmm. on my cell phone. Right. right. Um, yeah, and I think that's where those user fees will be uh, put to a cell phone. Currently, there's some fee on that, and now there's going there's a there's talk about increasing that fee because you're exactly right. The landlines are, be, are reducing, cell phones are increasing, and at this point, uh, the, we, we need to figure out a way to fund the 911. That's the whole goal, is to have the capabilities so people can call in, get 911 services expedited. and So it seems to be a, seems to be a reasonable, reasonable approach, and in order to do that, we have to have a consolidated center to increase those fees.